Finally, a full video CCTV. Should I say satellite video CCTV of how everything happened has been leaked out from the place of takeoff of the helicopter to the point where it crashed. So, my people, kindly pull up a cushion and enjoy the full video of everything. Also, we are here to tell you some of the facts you don't know about the people involved in this helicopter crash that made it a trending one. The last time we lost important people in helicopter crash was when Black Mamba died. Yes, I'm talking about popular basketball player. We all know him. He died with his daughter and other people in the plane. Now, we have lost another big name through helicopter crash, or should I say auto crash. Yes, this one is concerning our own country, Nigeria. Important people, top lawyer, Ogumbafo, and Access Bank CEO last two years. From 2014 to 2022, this man was the Access Bank CEO. He was the one that transformed Access Bank and even bought Diamond Bank to call affiliate with Access Bank. So, this man is really not an ordinary person. Hey, wait, don't play that video yet. Welcome to Dust TV. This is your home of all daily Nigerian trending entertainment news and gossip you need to see and watch. Yes, we keep you entertained 247. Yes, 247. So, just subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified anytime we drop the latest we do concerning your news and trending gist. So, roll the video now. Roll it. So coming to Twitter and looking at all the comments and godly messages from popular Nigerian entrepreneurs and CEOs, philanthropies, top names, you'll be shocked that this man actually impacted so many things in the Nigerian economy and other sectors of life. So let's look at some of the comments before we get down to the full story we carry out come. But this one I in the trend already of how top people are money him. So let's look at it. David I. Adeleke, he said, I don't think many people understand how invested and impactful Abat Wewe was to many sectors of Nigeria's economy. From the creative industry to real estate, hospitality, you name it. <laughs> the man walked the walk. He believed and proved it a massive loss. So this one is coming from Aisha Yeshufu. She said, May God be with the Wigwe family and loved ones. This is so sad. Ashishi J. Taka said, Deeply saddened and shocked with the news of the sad passing of my good friend and real inspiration, Abat Wigwe and his dear wife and son. This is a huge loss for Nigeria, Africa and us all. May God give strength to those around him. You will be deeply missed, my friend. Okay, not all that to even our own Dr. Abubaka Bukola Sariki said, I am deeply shaken by the news of the helicopter crash in California that claimed the life of my friend and brother, Abat Mwingwe, the group chief executive officer of Access Holdings PLC, his dear wife, son, and Abimbola Ogumbafo, the group chairman of Nigerian Exchange Group. Hey, child. Okay, Peter Obi said, I am deeply saddened by the tragic news of the passing of my dear friend, Mr. Abad Wigwe, CEO of Access Holdings, along with his wife and son, and another close friend, Abimbola Ogumbafo, former group chairman of Nigerian Exchange Group. Hey. So, Yinka Chukwemeka said, Oh my God, I hope it is not true what I'm hearing about Abad Wigwe. God, please, it can't be true. Okay. Olumide Idowu said, this is a day that we forever live in infamy. Herbert Wingo was a visionary, shaping the next generation of leaders and entrepreneurs through Herbert Wingo University. His passing alongside his family is a heartbreaking tragedy. Rest in peace to everyone we lost on that auto crash. So Access Bank even posted, Access Bank CEO Herbert Wingo was killed in a San Bodino County helicopter crash. No survivors has being located from access bank itself from the headquarters outside the country bio on another said the death of abat Uyugwe is a terrible blow for nigeria and africa's banking industry 
we will had a big vision to make access holdings africa biggest with all the acquaintable tests for acquisitions he also made mark in his community by building a university that is the best now hey okay dr doris anita said dear we be family I'm deeply saddened to hear about the tragic helicopter crash involving Abad Mwibwe, his wife and son. My heartfelt condolences go out to you during the incredibly difficult time. May you find strength and solace in the cherished memories you hold with him, my dear people. Okay, now looking at some of the things that you don't know about this man that is there, because that's one thing that people don't know about him this man that is dead so let's look at some of the popular facts that you might not know that will give you reason on why this man is trending and why evidences are coming out and why big people and big names are mourning him okay 12 quick facts about late access bank ceo Uyibwe. access bank chief executive officers Herbert Mwibwe, his wife and son, died on February 9th in a helicopter crash in California, United States. So here are the 12 facts about the late Access Bank CEO. 1. Mwibwe was born on 15th August 1966. 2. He was the CEO of Access Bank Holding, PLC, traded as Access Bank Corporation until his death. 3. Herbert was the group managing director and CEO of Access Bank PLC, one of the Nigerian's top five banking institutions. Four, he succeeded Agbaje Agba Ibokwede in January 2014 as CEO. Five, Mugwe had a degree in accountancy from the University of Nigeria and MA in banking and finance from the University College of North Wales, New Bangor, and an MLC in financial economics from the University of London. He was an alumnus of the Harvard Business School Executive Management Program. Seven, we started his career at Coopers and the brand Lagos as a management consultant, later qualifying as a chartered accountant. Eight, he worked at Capital Bank and GT Bank, where he spent over a decade working in corporate and institutional banking, rising to become the executive director in charge of institutional banking. Nine, in, 20, in 2002, we and his business partner, Agbaje Agba Imokwe, they bought into what was then a small commercial bank, Access Bank at the time, the 65th, the 65th largest of the 89 banks in the country. Then, Wigwe had also served as the chairman of Access Bank Ghana Limited, Access Investment and Securities Limited, Central Securities and Clearing System, and was the current chairman of Access Bank UK Limited. In 2016, number 11, in 2016, we founded the How Foundation, a non-profit organization. Number 12, Mugwe was named 2016 Banker of the Year separately by The Sun and Vanguard newspaper. Hey, so you have seen this man made a name and footprint on banking sector and other institutions, even university. He had a university too, Mugwe University. And a very quick one. Let's look at another personality that was among those involved in the helicopter crash with the Access Bank CEO. So, unverified sources stated that Abat Wigwe's wife, Chizoba, his son, and a former president of Nigerian exchange group, Abimbola Ogumbajo, we are all feared dead in the helicopter crash. As of Saturday morning, according to the New York Times, no survivors had been found, according to the officials so below i want to know about this personality abimbola ogumbajo that was involved with access bank ceo abimbola ogumbajo was the group chairman of nigerian exchange group plc the non-operating holding company that emerged from the mutilization of the nigerian stock exchange from 2021 to 2022 prior to this he was the president of the National Council of the NSC from 2017 to 2021. Abimbola Ogumbajo was born in Nigeria to the family of Chris and Hilda Ogumbajo, OFRCON, a distinguished and foremost corporate lawyer, industrialist, and philanthropist. He had his early education at Corona School, Apapa, University of Lagos Staff School. 
Clermont School Hastings, Success and Iwobi College, Lagos, before proceeding to Millfield School, Street Somerest, England, where he attained his GCE O levels, Bamofin Ogumbajo holds a BLC in Business Administration from the American College, Switzerland. He also holds an LLB from the University of Buckingham, United Kingdom. He has certificates in International Capital Markets and Maritime Law from the New York Institute of Finance and the University of Southampton, respectively. He provides pro bono legal services to the Nigerian Chamber of Shipping and the Chris Ogumbajo Foundation, where he also serves on his board of directors. Ogumbajo was a member of the International Bar Association, Nigerian Bar Association, Institute of Petroleum and a Registered Capital Market Consultant with the Securities and Exchange Commission. He served as managing partner of the renowned leading corporate law firm of Chris Ogumbajo Solicitors, a firm he joined in 1990 after a spell as a credit analyst with Chase Mahantam Bank Limited. He served on the boards of several multinational corporations and non-profit organizations including Better Glass PLC and the Advisory Board of University of Buckingham Center for Extractive Studies. He also served on the board of GTL Registrars Limited, ICO Insurance PLC, and Kono Phillips Limited, amongst others. He served as Global Ambassador for the Cervical Cancer Free Nigeria Campaign, an initiative of the Global Oncology, a U.S. based non-profit organization supported by Stanford University. The CCFN campaign aims to reduce the unnecessary deaths of Nigerian women from cervical cancer by raising awareness about the safety, efficacy, and availability of the human papillomavirus vaccine among the Nigerian public. The Elero Ruwan of Eruwan Ijebu in council headed by His Royal Highness Alaye Luwu Oba Johnson Adebayo Adebola Okumbena, on 8 December 2018, conferred on Ogumbajo the traditional title of Bamofun of Eruwan Ijebu Kingdom, meaning the father of lawyers. On 11 October 2022, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, conferred the national honor of the Officer of the Order of Federal Republic, OFR, on Bamofin Ogumbajo for his sterling contribution to the development of the capital markets, corporate law, and recognition to his outstanding virtues and in appreciation of his services to Nigeria. Yes, so my people, that is it. Now, back to the matter of who we came here for. Let's have to Uyugwe to all that happened and the clips. Let's go. So, now, let's look at the full auto crash and the video of how the auto crash happened. All of our children, eh? Yes. Now this food, they will go. Jump! Hey. Hey. We go already by next week. The many buildings will start. Hey, man. Two thousand people go to work for here. Hey, man. We don't want security problems. No way. Hey. No way. No security problems. No shit. 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 Due to the weather condition, his aircraft landed in Palm Springs, California before they got on a helicopter to Las Vegas at about 10 p.m. local time. The chief executive officer of Access Holdings, Abat Uyugwe, his wife, Chizoba, a son, and Abimbola Ogumbafo, former president of Nigerian Exchange Group PLC and three others, are feared dead in a helicopter crash between the borders of Nevada and California. A search and recovery operation is already going on. It is believed there were six persons aboard, including Herbert's wife's son and a friend, and former president of the stock exchange talks, Ogumbade Ojo. Due to weather conditions, his aircraft landed in Palm Springs, California airport, and they took a helicopter to Las Vegas at 10 p.m. The chopper was headed to Las Vegas when it crashed near a border city between Nevada and California on Friday night. Official confirmation by the authorities is still being awaited from the National Safety Transportation officials, currently expected at the crash site with family members. So, and details are flying in as you can see. So, on the details coming in soon, they said the Eurocopter EC-130 helicopter crashed around 10 p.m. local time near Neptune, California, and 
unincorporated community approximately 60 miles south of Las Vegas in eastern San Bernardino County, according to the Federal Aviation Administration. Officials from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department were notified of the downed aircraft at 10 12 p.m. local time, according to Mara Rodriguez. A public information officer with the department, she added that the crash site was located east of Interstate 15, near Haloran Springs Road. Okay, Lost TV Media learned that the infected flight 130CZ, operated by Obic Air LLC, took off from Palm Springs, California at 8.45 p.m., but was last seen near Fort Ewing, Basto, California at 21.49 p.m. Friday. What exactly led to the crash of the airbus helicopters remains unclear. The National Transportation Safety Board and Federal Aviation Administration are investigating the crash. Representative from the NTSB are expected to arrive the same on Saturday. Thank you, my people. Thank you. I go by the name Black Mamba. Don't forget, I thank God for my subscribers, my phone, and my sub. If you like, if you comment, if you subscribe, I'll keep thanking God for you. I love you all.